What's up? Welcome. I'm just a young girl who wants a painting. This documentary started because, as you can see, this wall is blank. There's nothing, and I've been looking for a painting, a piece of art that can just add life to this wall. So join me as I explore the creative scene in Nairobi and get to interact with artists. So let's go. Our first stop is one of Contemporary Art Gallery located at Rolling Lonchi. They have an exhibition that's currently ongoing by a Kenyan lady called Florence Wangoy, so we'll check it out. And they also have different um, sections where they just have art, so I'm excited to see it and let's check it out. Let's go! Boys dancing round her, oil fills up bright light, shining to bring you blessings. Lullabies of butterflies on your dark skin The sun leaves the sky but the light is still shining While it on the skin, on the gold skin She's the water light that we bask in From the depths of gifts our oppressions If you let us, she'll give you blessings She's the mother greeter with the holy Her aura is shining. It smells like our senses. Bring a blessing. She walks in the darkness. This place has a variety of artwork, but I'm definitely not the target audience as the cheapest piece goes for around 20k so it's a small pendant and i'm just not the target audience though the manager told me that they export the paintings and artwork abroad so if you are an artist and you'd like to find a place where you can sell your work this would be the perfect place i'm just smiling i came here i talked nonsense i painted a bit and then i came back an interesting individual who finds time in his busy schedule to explore his creative boundaries. Also, there's an installation happening at Village Market later on which we'll check out. I'm a lawyer, um, actually trained to be an advocate, but this is, this is me, it's the best way I can express myself. Okay, so we're gonna roll with George today as he makes this canvas be an artistic painting yes. but let me first ask you yeah what does art mean to you um, I, I wouldn't really give it a strict definition I will say um, how it applies in my life so I've always liked art maybe not the best artist since day one but it's uh, growth and it's a progress I end up doing more art when I'm meant to be focusing on other things I don't know what that says about me but I enjoy it like it's a good way for me to distress and release like would you call it your escape? Yes, definitely. Like freedom. Like see, definitely like freedom. I have been doing this like since primary school, like class five, six, as long as I can remember. And it's just gotten better with time. And the thing that keeps me going is the kind of um, support I get from my friends and family. Only pop a shorty if I brought myself a Trojan. I ain't trying to put a little baby up in no one. But I trust a woman, I would trust a snake with cold blood. Never let a woman trap you. Learn that from my old head. That I want to be a rapper. He say shit, go ahead. Art for me is an exploration. Like a journey. It's an evolution itself. It's an open landscape. So there's every opportunity to do what you want. Art Kwanguni healing na spread na itumia spread message na kutibu watu like spread peace spread love to all the people na hiyo unity pia 
when I a style known as hyperrealism and I use my art to speak for people who can speak for themselves. Like right now I'm working on a piece known as My Family on the Streets. Come, let's just go check out what's going on in here. Come through, sis. So, yeah, this is the reception area. I'm going to meet various artists who do an array of artworks from bottle, metal, sculpting, and I'm really excited to meet them and to talk to them. So, let's go and have a look. Art for me is a way to express what it is that I'm taking in or whatever it is I'm experiencing. I tend to work using recycled objects and materials. Um, I actually prefer, I like metal a lot. Wires, metal sheets, pieces of metal. I find them quite interesting or at least they, they grab me, they grab my attention when I walk around. Are you living off your art? Yeah. And how is that? It's not easy. Definitely not. But um, over, t over time, like when I've like, you know, kept going, because you know, it's easy to, to, to quit. I advise that you look at everything. Like literally, don't, don't think that it's only painting, don't think that it's only sculpting. Like you never know, like even the thing that you least expect can actually have your style contained in it. So. Like, you just need to persevere. Hi. Poor Sana Sema. Can I ask you a few questions? Sawa. So, number one, what is your art about? And what inspires your art? Um, so, uh, mostly can you I'm in traveling. Mm -hmm. I love traveling a lot. Okay, if you were to describe art in one word, mm. what would you say? Uh, so no, basically, in life. Life? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Most people drink wine or whatever bottle and then they don't know what to do with it, so I just figured I mean, might as well. Yeah, we cycle it, so it saves the environment and it's fun. So, I mean, different things like painting on the bottle, depending on what you want to do, what you're going to look for. Or, for example, you know, this is like somebody's portrait, a couple portrait on it. So yeah, I do this full time, I come here every day, I work as hard as I can. I'm always trying different things because, you know, the whole thing about art, I guess, experimenting with different things but, or just going through life, maybe doing things for money, let's just say, it, it, rather than because you love it. So, yeah, it does mean a lot to me. But isn't it hard to follow your heart sometimes when this is what you're passionate about, but maybe working in a bank would give you more money? It is difficult, to be honest. I don't think there's any artist who's going to tell you otherwise or give you a different narrative, to be honest. But when you finally find it and you find your voice and you find what it is that you're looking for and I guess your technique, then it becomes easier. Uh, my, my work is mostly uh, social commentary. This is one of my works, a cleric on, on canvas. Uh, it's called Ratio of bride price negotiation. Um, so it's just a commentary on how materialistic the whole uh, bride price uh, tradition is. Um, and especially nowadays, it's just, it's more like the Ashara. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I so just thought about like, what's the most expensive thing on, on, on this planet, or, or maybe in, in our context, Kenya. And 
because that's where the tradition is common. Um, so I thought of a king's head. So if this is a scenario whereby like um, the king's head is being exchanged. So in exchange for your, your, your daughter's hand in marriage. How long does it take for you to do this for example? Uh, it's, a, it's a process that I like to divide into stages. Mm -hmm. So I sketch first on a, on a board, on an MDF board, and then I, I carve it, and then now the printing. So roughly three weeks. Three weeks, okay. Would you say that art is lucrative? Like, are you eating from your art? Yeah, it, it is. So for some people, you can see it's, it's working for them. So it's not something that you can say you're going to walk out of it because you're not making any money. But it requires consistency. Plus, uh, I also do some things on the side. So when I'm not making money from art, at least I can get something to subsidize. From. Such a crazy, crazy fiasco, man. Let me tell you about mine, man. Listen real quick. Hey. Face yourself, face yourself, and the world will finally see you. So, in my performance statement, I said that my work is about being fearlessly myself in front of others. That part is the most important part, in front of others. It is so okay, I mean, everyone is themselves when they're alone, but are you yourself 100% when you are in front of others? Maybe a triangle, maybe a square. Either way, I'm still prepared. They talk, we all take a walk. Karibu malindi wa tamu Hapa tunikazi kwangu Nafanya Mtu anandika kenya na chotaka Hapa lafu Kituri na nataka Kwa kenda kwa nanyumba Kwa kama remembrance Uchukua mbuda kaa ngapi Kwa kama hapa na 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 hapa Elfu mbili? Bain hiyo hiyo, na kukulia ni watano Ah hiyo ni mependa sana, ni simba Ni simba huu Pesa ngapi hiyo? Elfu mbili na miatano Hizi mapicha huenda sana? Hizi mapicha huenda sana Wewa uzia nani sasa tuaris? Walking on rails Wageni mwote mwote Eh Kika wana taba Eh Una wana nungua here in coastal province i've met artists who solely make their art for the purpose of selling it to the tourists but i've also met a gentleman who makes his art as a way to recycle material that comes from the debris of the ocean so he collects sandals and he recycles and makes turtles and fish as a way to conserve the environment. So Bwana Aiza kuna sema ya kwamba unatengeneza ngakobe na samaki kutumia driftwood. Driftwood. Ile miti ya kutoka baharini imekaa kwa miaka mingi. Yes, so inaletwa na bahari yenyewe. Inaletwa na ocean. Yeah, high tide. Yes. Yeah. Alafu unaongezea nini haya? Sasa hii hiyo miti eh ikipata eh ninateza ile shape ya hilo kitu nataka kama ni tato eh, eh kama ni samaki, samaki kama huyo kama yeah. huyo naam eh, na pia na crocodiles oh naona hapo na crocodiles ni stingray fish stingray okay stingray fish so, so watumia nini ku yarembesha hii ni nini sasa 
Eh. Kule Mbesha. Eh. Pia kuna ma, kuna sandals eh. zinatokaka kwa maji wakati huo June na July. June na July kuna sandals zinakujanga na tight. Na tight. Okay. Yeah. The sandals are normally broken ama okay, yeah, broken. broken sandals that come from the ocean. Yeah. Crazy. Waste. So, okay, to say me, how many sandals do you collect? A day. Yes. And they in as a tengeza kama nguni ya moja. Nguni ya moja ya sandals tu peke yake. 90 kg. That's a lot of pollution. Yeah. 90 kg. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so una collect ju hopenangi kuona sandals kwenye kwenye beach. Yes. So you do it as a way to conserve the environment. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Alafu through that you make this beautiful this. Yes. Okay. Yeah. As for my white wall, I made a little painting courtesy of George, my friend, who encouraged me to just start. The great thing about art is that there's no right or wrong, so this will hold it down for now. Which venues and spaces do you go to share your work as an artist? Where do you go if you want to be inspired by other artists? Which artists actually inspire you in the Kenyan scene? Whether it be the fashion, music or art industry, let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching this. It's your girl, Chai Timothy. Chai Chita.